What's up, y'all? I know I've been MIA for a minute, um, and there's been a lot of things going on, both in the world. 2020 been, 2020 been something else, right? And I think that we're about to maybe even have a couple more tests before it chills out. Um, I've been off social media and, and just focusing on self-mastery. Uh, that would probably be the easiest way to, to say it. Self-mastery and craft mastery. You know, self-mastery as far as like being at a point in my life where, where I'm of the age and hopefully of the experience and hopefully of some of wisdom in this life to, to focus internal and to realize that everything that's happening outside in my, in my personal life starts inside, right? We have full, full power to create our reality. And some of us know that, some of us don't, some of us take advantage of that, some of us don't. And I've been really focusing on that. I'm planting the, the, the seeds and, and working out whatever is going on inside of me to, to change my external world, right? Because your thoughts are things and they become things in the external world and that's a fact. And uh, so I've been focusing on that and I've also been focusing on craft mastery, dealing with, with, with my music and, and kind of having my passion be reignited. Man, I, I've never felt this passionate about music since I was an infant, you know? Like I, I've loved music since I was a little kid in a village in Croatia and then coming to the States and, and then doing music my whole life. And I almost gave up on it about 500,000 times. But I think when it's something that you're called to do, it, you, can't, you can't give it up. You could try, but it just don't work. You could try to break up, but, but music's like, I don't think you're leaving me, bro. So I'm in the studio right now. My brother Mike is in the other room. We're about to mix another song. And I just wanted to touch base, you know? I've been kind of staying off of social media and it's been a blessing. It's been a blessing, man. Like there's so much, so much of the negativity and the drama and the nonsense and everybody arguing about stuff. It, it's just like, it felt, to me, it felt like a, a distraction, you know? If, you, and if, if you've been keeping up with the videos that I was making as far as my, my journey, my spiritual journey in these last 12 years, you know, since I became a Christian and then since I realized that there's no such thing as hell in the Bible. And, and then I've realized a ton of other things since then that I'm really not ready to share with y'all, but it's all positive stuff. And as I keep growing, life keeps getting more and more beautiful. God keeps getting more and more beautiful. And I, and I keep getting more and more beautiful. And so do you. But that takes time. That takes time, you know, away from the noise and the nonsense of the general, how would I say it? Time away from the nonsense of the, the noise of the general society um, banter. I'm learning new words too, right? I'm gonna throw, I don't think I've ever used banter. I'll say banter. And, uh, and yeah, so, I am going to be back on YouTube. I am going to be back on Facebook and on, I was about to say Netflix, but that's not what I think I meant. I think what I meant is uh, Snapchat. And got tons of music. I got hundreds of songs. I've been so focused. I've been so focused. Like never ever have I had this level of focus and humility and passion and drive and love and and beauty in my life, you know? I have my wife, I have our two boys. They are, they are the driving force. They have lit a fire under me like, like nothing ever had before. So in the coming months and years, you'll see what I mean, you know? So for the time being, I wanted to say a quick encouragement to everybody, you know, with, with, with what we got going on with, with the pandemic and with the presidential elections and with the, with the seeming tension in our world, you know, my experience has been that whenever we pass through challenges like this, right, it's a catalyst. This is a catalyst. This is an opportunity. And, and it is here for a reason. And the reason is not the end of the world. So anybody telling you that, like, oh, the world is ending, like, let's all, it's a bunch of nonsense. People have been crying, the, the sky is falling, that chicken little 
garbage for, for thousands of years. This world is not ending. You know, an age might be ending. We might be coming to an end of an age and the beginning of a new age, but it's going to be better. You know, or or it might be uh, compared to what Jesus talked about symbolically as a pregnant woman when she's about to give birth and her labor pains get, get more and more before she gives birth. And I think we're in those labor pains right now. But when the birth is given, it's going to be something better. It's going to be something more beautiful. So, so I would encourage you to, to not get caught up in the negative nonsense. You know, things are being worked out. Things are being exposed. And this is the perfect opportunity for us to take some time, stop watching the news and all that propaganda, the most insane propaganda ever. And whether you like Trump or not, I think one of the, one of the things this presidency has done is revealed the astronomical level of brainwashing, soul-numbing propaganda that the media is, right? So one of the things that, that this time could be used for which I would encourage you to use it for, is go internal. See what you got going on in there and what needs to be cleaned up. This is the perfect opportunity for that so that when we come out of this, all of us can level up, level up our self-mastery, level up our craft mastery, and just level up who we are as human beings, as, as, as spirits in this world, in these amazing bodies, and in, what, in how we can more efficiently do what we have been put here to do all right so with that being said i'm gonna get back in there and do some work all right i love y'all talk to you soon